success has a structure and when we look at the people who are successful yeah we can understand many things unique for each person yeah we cannot make a stand alone success methodology saying that follow this follow that not at all we can advise the youngsters this particular trait of a successful person is definitely worth taking yeah. for yourself exactly sure our purpose with uh, this program is to create learning groups amongst yes. the students mm. those who are really dreamers and looking for very very higher success in their career in their own fields yeah yes so what we are going to do is we are expressing our thanks to our teachers those who have helped us to mold our career many yes exactly. teachers, many teachers and mentors contributed immensely for our future sure yes 100% yeah so we are whole heartedly supporting the youngsters who are coming forward saying mm. saying we have greater dreams we wanted to follow greater dreams yeah so we are going to pick the dreamers and we are going to guide them free of cost exactly not only that we yeah. are going to convert those learning groups into earning groups because if you yeah. remove l from learning it is earning mm. earning yeah. yeah. if we remove earning from learning there is nothing remaining than l yeah. exactly yeah. exactly yeah. 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 yeah today the advantage of today's children is they mm. are in the digital world exactly space is not a problem time is not a problem they can reach out to anybody anywhere but what about the practicality that is important that's so, important uh, i am talking about the primary skill what they should achieve exactly one is concentration other one is communication very good correct absolutely these, right these two skills if a student achieve definitely yeah. success will follow that student right so we are giving you and me and many others we have lined up about 1000 such mentors across india who are yes. willing to guide the youngsters exactly they will be providing their mentorship without any charges for these youngsters surely all our expertise are open to the youngsters to come and explore exactly right what we are telling you should be having a structure of success right and each one has his own is on we will help you to identify your unique capability and will help each one yes and we will guide them and they should lead their success story on their own right that's yes. right in yeah. that regard you should now give a message which is mm. telling them what is the most important aspect in the success of a student the first of all most of the students go by something called as a herd mentality in their age i'm talking about Super. you know either in the family or in the in their uh, peer circle i want to take biochemistry all of them biochemistry if they want to take this each one has you know his his capability you find out that what is that and fix up on that and work on that irrespective of the comments from anybody anybody you know like for example uh, if i can quote the example from my own house my own son being the field of counseling as he was growing up i had a feeling i think this boy would do well in science in the field of science okay his math was good his science was good i actually of course um, slowly uh, helped in developing his communication skill where he was a little uh, a little shy not a very shy person a little introvert again to make him more extrovert today how that has helped him is to literally focus on one thing and he says no i am not going to take up science i don't want engineering or medicine but i would go into the commerce field but then i was very particular in the sense i gave him in the commerce field these are the options 
And within a month's time, you've got to tell me what you have to do. Either you do law or you do CA or you do CS, MBA, etc. But he said, okay, I'll do law. But if you do law, again, I would prefer that you fight out your case or you fight out your exams on the all India level and appear for the CLAT exam. But due to the pandemic uh, commotion, he got into symbiosis. Believe me, he's doing so well. He's enjoying his course. So to, for students, what I'm saying is, try to find out what is your inner capability. What will you best add? Just because the marks at the board level, at the 10th level, is no reflection of what your career is going to be. Sorry, no. Now, I got umpteen people in spite of being in the field of education and counseling because he's got 99 in mathematics, 91 in overall score at the ICSE level is a good percentage. So a general perception among the public is, even today, I'm sorry, but I think in the last five to eight years, what I'm observing is there is a shift, which is a so happy incident, actually. You know, it is not that, you know, just because you get a good marks percentage at the board level, Rush to science. No. You could do wonders in arts. You could do wonders in commerce in any field. So what I'm telling students is find out what is your inner potential. Stick on to that. Start working. I believe me, you'll do wonders in your life. You know, Mr. Sorake, the leader. His yeah. son was with us in the college, right? Now he took up science, no doubt about it. But later on, he jumped, appeared for CLAT. Today, He's a successful lawyer and is working under Kapil Sibyl. Maybe he'll branch out as a wonderful lawyer because he had that wonderful quality of oration. So we had to correct him and tell him that, hello, you're sounding fantastic on the stage, on the mic. You've got that capability. Now work on that, work on that, you know? And that's how maybe he developed it. And today, again, by God's grace, a very handsome boy and i think he would make a very successful lawyer i should not hear you are also sounding so wonderful <laughs> yes <sir>. so <laughs> yeah yeah i mean i mean um, you feel so nice when because you saw that raw material a few years ago and today when i see that raw material getting converted into you know that uh, wet clay as they say has been converted into a particular mold and a shape and coming out so beautifully, you feel so happy inside that, okay, we were also a part of it. In the sense, we were able to guide him at the right time, in the right place. His luck also at the same time. And his determination not to take away that. He took it up in the right spirit, worked on that, and went ahead. Similarly, I think there are some, I mean, the doctors also, you know, saying that, okay, will I be able to do the medicine? I'll not be able to do the medicine. It's a tough course, long course, long study, but they have done it and today they are so successful. One is an ortho who just got married, felt so happy when he invited us for the marriage. Okay. And I remember that particular stage when he just uh, raw, scared, confused, coming out of school, entering college, uh, took up science because the parents wanted him to become a doctor. Little knowing that he himself had the potential. Once he, a child enters a college, I believe we mentors, not those pure teachers who come teach, go. No, I'm talking about the teachers who are, you know, really have the quality of mentoring, of identifying the potential of the child. So when this little came to me, I still remember telling him, he says, I just came to medicine because, you know, my father wanted me, my mother, big prestigious issue. I have to. But I said, no, I am finding in you a wonderful doctor in the future because, because the way you go about talking, the way you talk to people, this is exactly the quality required of a doctor when he attends to his patients. You're sometimes you're so soft and so nice and you're a wonderful listener, which is a wonderful quality as far as a doctor is concerned. Because some of the doctors I've seen are so brash. I myself have experienced. I mean, they would just cut you, your, your sentence before you could even complete it as to what, thinking that he has already guessed what is the trouble with me. That's not the case. You allow the person to complete the sentence because 
that has got such a lot of psychological impact on the patient yes when the doctor listens to him you know and again of course listening is an art they have to develop so see when that even that particular field also when this boy is when this child is successful it's wonderful i should tell you one story of doctors listening here yeah it is written in the book of mercy revi who is who is no more uh, yeah. wife of uh, the f- former minister vaila revi no oh, vaila revi yeah she had to undergo a surgery kidney surgery in america okay in america there is a system before the mm. surgery they will read it out for you yeah the entire uh, yes yes, yes. so they, that has to be that yeah yes, yes so they read out everything mm. and told hence we are mm. moving your left kidney something like that they told left okay. or left or right i don't remember and mm. he suddenly jumped out she said, no 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 it's not that kidney having problem my other kidney got problem because she has oh. lot of knowledge she was studying understanding what is happening everything and mm. because of her timely intervention she was mm. saved in indian conditions these things are not there no, i just as a matter of fact i was just mentioning a listening doctor is such a great fortune great. for the patient exactly Absolutely. exactly Absolutely. but the very similar case that you told me just now i'm remembering another case of the famous actress who's no more shri devi okay her okay. mother was operated in the united states of america for her one part of the brain and they actually operated on the other side of the brain i mean i would i don't exactly remember the the left or the right left was uh, perhaps to be operated upon but they operated on the right now in spite of such fantastic doctors there technology at its best but still they are bungled up okay. and she was no more with that particular yeah. right. so uh, i think somewhere some doctors i think you know in 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 the course because listening as you said just now is so very important that when you mark for l or r maybe it was just yes we don't know what was the case yes. yeah yes. so listening i believe is a wonderful art that these children should develop if they want to go to medicine not only medicine even if you're a teacher or a mentor you have to so patiently listen to the child and to understand the finer nuances of the child's body language yes. to get into the root how to sort it out yeah. and what is the issue and yeah, it is so fortunate that i know you for several years now and yes, I, as i closely watch you you yes. have helped us so many youngsters to come up in life and yes. so many people who would not have got any idea where to go you were yes. able to identify their inside potential their inner innate potential and help yes. them to elicit like the examples which you have mentioned now I think exactly. thousands of people you have helped, and, and yes, yes, yeah, I'm yeah. so privileged and happy to to be to be in the field. Yeah, that, uh, yeah. whenever I bump into them at the airports and other places, and all of a sudden they come and tell me, "Hi, sir." Now I just can't remember their faces because these uh, modern day boys and girls—they are so what they say, the handsome dudes, you know. Yes. with a tall frame and you know they come and say when they told you sir means i have definitely taught them somewhere yeah. so i said yeah. oh, sir you don't remember me <laughs> really i don't remember them how could i because their face at that level and now is so different but when they told me sir means i have definitely taught them i said yeah i remember him remember mm-hmm. okay i am aditya but i said Adi, i know so many adityas <laughs> aditya shah and shetty and this and that and all why do i know so many yeah. they identify sir you taught me in mumbai viliparli branch i was on to 14th batch remember you scolded me that time you took me for a coffee oh i then everything comes into the picture how you corrected that child in spite of his when is when he lost his father and the family ill treating him he was into a shell to come out of it and then you know to be a successful guy in life so he says sir i owe it to you sir why do i need crores of rupees in my bank account sir when i get <laughs> this particular yes, compliment sir. from the yes, child yes sir right yes. i feel so happy i said well the right time the right place you have made that marginal difference and that got the child scooting off yeah that is that is the key change in the life of a child that right. moment that moment exactly and i want to know what yeah. is that secret which others are not able to identify in a child the innate quality 
and you are able to identify what is the secret that how you what is the magnifying glass which mm-hmm. help you to locate what is there within that student number one i would just go back a little to my childhood this yes. coming from a background where you had a lot of responsibility thrust on you when you were a little boy itself maybe my father was a little laid back and then you know in in a, in a, in a bunt family with a lot of uh, five daughters to be married and how to be get married so you you are actually the person concerned for my in my case you you actually mature double your age at that stage itself that is one thing my circumstances has brought me like you said how is how do you find out now because since you are a since i am i'm talking I'm, let me talk, not talk in plural since i'm talking about myself since i was a very keen observer and heaps of abuses and not so good words upon you so you try i mean you 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 develop yourself to such a level that you can give them back so the, the experience of my life has given me that there, there is i cannot say a, uh, that experience itself is not a tool that i am holding inside me a, a, a particular a formula where i can say ha i apply to this and i can identify it is just the experience the when a person comes into my cabin the entire body language and how we entire starts with the conversation gives me the idea yes this is the problem and i of course a little probing clears it all and when you touch the problem and sort it out at that level itself i think the parents are so happy that one could and of course parents have limitations in some in some cases even the parent knows this is the problem but the parent the the way the parent children relation kid relation is such that they are not able to word it out for example if something got to do with the sex related uh, issues i think in india we are still not comfortable talking to our children the parents are still not when yeah. it can be i mean when you can be so very open about it you know yes i have this particular problem what to do you know so these students you know when they feel the level of comfort and i tell them i think the parents i ask the parents to leave the cabin and i would like to talk to your child for 10 minutes believe me dabba 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 we just comes on dot 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 the just like 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 any you know um, uh, like you go and confess to a father at the church on every sunday it comes on and on and on and on and it there you can pinpoint and say hello beta this is nothing unusual what is happening with you you know even to the question uh, matter of coming up to even uh, uh, well understood boys masturbation part of it to such a deep extent that they don't are not aware that that is a natural phenomenon of the human being but when it comes reading is one thing coming from somebody's experienced person's mouth is putting them into a real comfort level and zone so this is the way i operate and i tackle students not to harp on that particular point in a negative way look at it positively and then both of us you know in coordination head the child out there is no other uh, fixed formula that I, i can say i can apply to student a and student b and student c of course some there are some categories who are coming who are absolutely disturbed in not in one zone one arena of the life in so many aspects of the life so that becomes a little difficult certain times yes, sir, sir the, the the church confession has a big quality that yep. whatever is confessed is a secret there yes the, the church priest will never reveal it to anybody anybody even at any situation that confidentiality yep. is the power of confession confession that is the same See, i have always admired that mm. i have always admired because having being um, uh, i finished my schooling in a convent today i feel i was there you know in that particular thing maybe born into a catholic family and maybe i could have gone and confess somewhere so so many of my anxieties and so many of my so called phobias of life would have washed away could i maybe i could have been better off as a person but still i did one thing was a priest of the school he was my punching bag i used to take time off some meeting in the evening and just pour it out father this is my problem this is my problem are nahi re aisa nahi hai aisa ho this will happen that don't worry see this is the way this is the way don't worry i think i owe it to that father and even today uh, paul sir let me tell you one thing 
every day invariably in my prayer i have a word for that priest i have i express my gratitude even today before i'm talking to you this morning when i finish my prayer i have a list of people to whom i have to express my gratitude and this particular priest is one of them mm-hmm. so as you confession thing is a beautiful concept the confidence and the flow that i have got in my particular um, field of speaking and uh, you know you know faculty development programs and uh, all these holding of seminars and all the particular the entire gist on um, the entire knowledge and the confidence was given to me by this particular priest you know so he used to always tell me you know i mean i mean he, first of all you know we are very i think 99% of the people are scared to hear their own voice which he corrected me then because those days actually i was such a link lanky fellow uh, somebody my friends used to tell me like oh, were you standing behind that mic oh i couldn't see you so they were linking me to be that so thin that i was hiding behind the mic the long you know the stand but this particular priest said irrespective of your looks god has given you a wonderful voice you've got a flow of the language and the style of the, of speaking work on it and you can do it and he's the only one person who instilled that particular trust and faith in me which actually i you know went on and on and on and on irrespective of there were times when i was shit nervous in front of a huge stage in like shanmukhan on the hall in mumbai and all that thing you know when i was with the earlier institute but he had just told me just think they they're all fools in front of you and you are the only sensible person talking and go on so this is the con so, so that is one thing where we have to find out in that particular child what is the phobia that child has got is it something to do with voice or is it something to do with the flow of the language and not knowing the language english language proper for that i have a wonderful um, example in when i was in this particular college and this guy coming from a vernacular medium but so very hyperactive so very this one he wanted to participate in one of the elocution competitions we organized in just 3 months of his first year pu and he is come and comes and tells me i want to participate but sir adu ella english nalli alla nange english you know kannada i say yes speak in that language he spoke and bloody broke the i mean the way he spoke so beautiful then i told him now is the time for you to improve your language so start reading because reading habit was not there he was an outside student from somewhere very interior karnataka and believe me within one week he made friends in the class whose father was a employee of some bank and then there we have that uh, huge library next to the stadium you know uh, central bank ka library no i think there is a big huge library he made friends with him and started getting books from there and started reading since he wanted to become a doctor i told him start reading robin cook books because they're all medico legal books now since i had read most of them like for example fever and uh, coma and things like that you know in the middle of the book he would enter my cabin in the evening and tell me sir can i take 10 minutes of your time i said come i'm free and you discuss with me the character in the book why did that what dr walters why did he take that step sir he could have done this no i said um you you you're right actually but i think what you should do is now read the rest of the pages finish the book and then we'll discuss why because then i would be letting out the secret you know <laughs> yeah. he was so into but to come and discuss a character of a book that speaks volumes of that boy's confidence and the end the moral of the story is now at the end of the second year he was the best outgoing student of the college our conversation will continue like this for hours together we can continue but we will, we will we will end up this session with a thank yeah. note to your teacher and the many teachers who had exactly. helped the children many many teachers yes yes many yep. teachers a teachers yep. appreciation yep. is as equal as mothers appreciation and maybe and maybe in our next maybe in our next session i would like to tell you how 
uh, when I landed in Mangalore, how we honored the retired school teachers Wonderful. because I owe everything to them. And I think every student and every, all of us, we owe it. We, will we it. have to have our regards for them. We will do yeah. the next episode only for them, sir. Only for them. About the teachers. About, about the, the teachers. teachers. Yes. yes. And not only about the teachers, about the school teachers, I'm talking. Yes, sir. I'm not talking yes, about yes, sir. once you are yes, graduating. Sir. Yes, sir. Yeah? Yes, sir. Yeah. Thank, Thank you so much, sir. Thank, Thank you very so much. much. Having, Thank you. Thank having you. me invited uh, to have a talk and I would be so glad if I have stirred, you know, like you put water into a still water, there is a rippling effect. I thought, I sincerely hope some rippling effect is in their cerebellum. The yeah. students who are listening to me today. Definitely. Definitely. And uh, Definitely. let that make a difference. Let them come back to us with their own issues. We will sort it out at any point of time. Yes, Thank you. Sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.